Got questions about food allergen testing? Then you're in the right place. Welcome back to another episode of Ask About Allergens, the forum where allergen experts from all over the world join us to answer your questions. And when I say from all over the world, I mean it. Joining us once again from our labs in beautiful Union, Missouri, is our Technical Services Director, Christy Swoboda. Welcome back, Christy. Hello. Let's just dive right into today's question. What is validation? Sure, validation by definition is the process of testing your entire allergen management program to assure that everything that you've put into place is, is effective. So validation should be done following your risk assessment process, and it should include everything from looking at vendor C of A's, your sanitation SSOPs, your product recipes, your facilities, kind of taking all of that and then looking at what environmental samples, environmental swabs, rinse waters, finished products should we test to make sure what we say we need to do is effective to keep allergen contamination out of your product. Uh, so do I understand you correctly? It is a comprehensive look at the whole food production environment from the point of view of allergen contamination prevention? Yes, absolutely. What tools do we use to test for validation? Sure, for validation, we recommend a quantitative ELISA-based test kit. Uh, the reason is through your validation, you want to determine, are you looking for results that are less than LOD of a test kit? Are you looking to set your threshold at an LOQ of a test kit? Or is there a set kind of threshold level that's acceptable for you based upon the type of product that you're producing and the intention of that product, you know, further in the, the food manufacturing or finished product kind of realm. So gathering the data, collecting that information, and then using with any um, regulatory data or clinical data, then you can take all of that together and go, okay, this is the threshold, this is the level that works for our company, and this is where we need to see results moving forward. Well, Christy, thank you so much for these insights. Now we know a little bit more about the importance of validation and its role in allergen testing. And of course, we look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, thanks, Josh, absolutely. And thanks to all of you out there for tuning in. This show lives off of your questions, so please keep them coming and enter them into the comments field of this post. And be sure to look for us again in a couple of weeks. We'll see you then.